Roto is another topic that we'll be breezing right through, as there's already tons of tutorials dedicated to the process. In a nutshell, I'll be using Mocha to assist with rotoing specific areas in the scene that will be overlapping with our screens and set extension. Mocha will have an easier time tracking smaller pieces. I try to create regions that all move together so that we aren't trying to combat a constantly morphing and changing shape. While working, be sure to disable the gear icon for layers that you're done with. Otherwise, Mocha will continue to try calculating them, slowing down your system, and potentially altering some of your masks. There's all the pieces we need for now. Back in After Effects, you can choose to view or apply the mat right in the Mocha effect, but I've found that using masks is faster. Select Create AE Masks to generate them. I like to paste them onto a solid, making sure that the resolution of the solid is matching the resolution of the layer that we've rotoed. For some additional roto, we can use our 3D camera and 3D nulls to help us out. I'll copy some of those from my 3D track comp. After finding a 3D null that is in the right location, we can copy its position data onto a fresh solid and then add a mask to the solid. In this case, we are using it to help roto the window frame and wall. We'll do the same thing for the edge of the monitor here. We'll also go find some 3D nulls for the wire basket, and we'll put a solid in that location as well. Once we have all the bits of roto that we think we'll need, a nice way to work with it is to add some red, green, and blue fills to the different parts of the roto. By separating them out like this into different color channels, we can make it easier to use for various mats while we're comping the shot. It took me a second to figure out the best colors to use for each element, but in the end, I made the region for the exterior set extension green, while the map for the monitors and CG elements will be able to utilize the red channel. 